So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use repurpose.io. I've been using it for a few months now, and it is one of the greatest AI automations that I have used in my entire life. Whoever thought of this, they are the man and or woman. Um, it has got back a lot of my time and it's uh, reasonably affordable. And I'm going to show you guys what I use it for and how I use it in my funnel. So I'm going to share my screen. So this is um, this is the back end of my funnel right here. So this is where all my ideas are. You know, I have all my ideas and then my ideas go to my spreadsheet, which is like my social media calendar. And uh, I use this to format and plan my content, my content for the week or for the month. I recommend you guys use uh, use this. If you want to get this calendar, I'll leave it down in the description below. It's totally free. But um, right now, TikTok is my main source of organic traffic. Um, that's where um, everything kind of initially begins. All right, so um, uh, once I have my ideas and I have them here, they go to, um, uh, I place them on my content calendar. And for my content calendar, I create and post the content on TikTok. So this is where it actually begins. All right, so when I post on TikTok, uh, that's all I really have to do. So in the past, you probably had to upload your content to TikTok. And if you want to repurpose it, um, a lot of people are using snaptick.io, I mean, snaptick.com uh, to take the content, remove it for the watermark so you can repurpose it on other social media platforms like YouTube Shorts, there's Reels, there's Stories, um, there's Pinterest Idea Pins and all this cool stuff out right now since TikTok came out. But um, the cool thing about repurpose.io, I just post my content to TikTok and it sends it everywhere else for me, all on automations, right? And you have 100% control on what you, on that, that um, process, how you want it to happen. All right, but it takes away all of the other stuff, man. Like um, my social media manager, <laughs> like I'm like contemplating whether or not I should keep them because now um, I have this software that can do it. Um, if I keep my social media manager, I'll probably just have her just do this stuff for me. But anyway, once I post it to, to TikTok, so it automatically, once I post it to TikTok, and I'll show you how to do this in, in, a, in a minute on this video. All right, but this is all a workflow in that software, but it goes to, automatically goes to repurpose.io, okay? And from repurpose.io, uh, I have a lot of things how I can do this, but this is the, one of the ways that's been working for me. All right, so you can actually connect your Google Drive folder. So if you're a content creator, we know how these platforms are. You can get banned or suspended or get hacked and you can lose all of your content. So. Automatically, when I post a TikTok, all my videos go into these folders. Um, well, it goes into one folder, but I have multiple folders. I have a YouTube Shorts folder, a Facebook Reels folder, an Instagram folder, a Pinterest folder, and then I have an all content folder. So all of my content goes into the, uh, from TikTok, all of my uh, TikTok content goes into the all content folder. So it's automatically backed up, safe for me on my Google Drive account. And it's all watermark free, so there's no watermarks, all right? So if anything bad happens to any of my uh, social media accounts, I have all of my content backed up on Google, uh, Google Drive and I can start putting it back out and rebuilding um, my, new con my, my new profile on whatever platform, okay? But um, the reason I like, um, also another reason I like backing it up um, on Google Drive, because now I can disperse it in different ways. So say, um, if your video on, on TikTok um, is more than 59 se seconds for like YouTube shorts or whatever. So it's going to automatically post as a YouTube video. It won't go to shorts because it's um, too long. It has to be max 59 seconds to qualify for a YouTube shorts video, right? So if I just want to only publish shorts, right? I can have all of my content go into Google Drive. And then I have uh, and from my content, all content folder, I can take those videos and put them in my YouTube shorts videos, only the videos that are 59 seconds. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to do this. This is what, uh, what works for me. If um, you once you if you said it and you don't want to create a Google Drive folder, all right, you just want your content to automatically post to YouTube or whatever. And whether it's a short, it's a video, uh, a short 
a YouTube short or a regular YouTube video, it's going to automatically post it because what happens to YouTube, it automatically does that for you. So if you manually went into your phone and recorded a video and uploaded to YouTube, um, if you don't have to put it in a shorts um, format or whatever, because of the time of the video, it's going to automatically go to shorts. If the video is over 59 seconds, a minute or long, uh, um, one minute or longer, it's going to automatically become a YouTube video, right? It's just going to be in the YouTube video format and then it's going to be vertical inside of the video and you're going to have the side space. But if you're okay with that, it it'll do that for you, and you don't have to figure out how to do that. That's what good. That's that's what's so good about repurpose IO. I do this because um, I want to make sure that only my shorts are going, and then my longer form content is going other places, right? Because you can actually use your long form content, and you can inside repurpose.io you can take your long form content and remove the uh, um, the audio, and, and I'm also using these for podcasts and stuff like that. Um, all different types of uh, things you could do with long form content, but that's another discussion for another video. I just want you to explain what I'm doing. All right, but anyway, and I'll show you an example. So the, here, right here um, is my YouTube Shorts Google Drive folder. All right, and this is a new one I, I'm starting right here. So there's not a lot of content in here, but it goes into my all content folder and then I just manually move it over into the YouTube Shorts folder. But once I move it over here, it automatically posts to YouTube, right? So um, I, it's, there's two ways I could do it. I can even go and repurpose.io and if, say if I don't want, when I um, immediately move it over there, I can schedule it to post. So it can post different multiple times out of the day, all right? But if um, you just take a look right here, so I go, you see I have my YouTube Shorts, Pinterest Shorts, IG Reels, IG Reels, Facebook Reels, and here's my all, all content folder. And this is where all of my content go, goes to get backed up. All right, but let me get back to here. So when it when it goes to here, all right, so I disperse those, those different pieces of content. And this is all automated, you guys, all automated. It goes to all of my social media platforms, all right, including Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook, right? Now, right here, this is Pinterest, okay? I, I mean, this is a tailwind. Um, I also, this is what my social media manager does or, or my VA does. They use Pinterest because Pinterest is a great app. I mean, not Pinterest. Why do I keep saying Pinterest? Tailwind is a great app for Pinterest where you can do some extra stuff. And I'll leave that link down in the description if you want to use Tailwind. If you just only want to focus on Pinterest, you can still use repurpose IO as well. Um, but what's good about Tailwind, um, they got AI built into that app where um you could do a lot of things outside of repurpose IO. So if you don't already know, people over there on Pinterest are a different type of um, um, quality of, of potential prospects and customers, all right? So I do a little extra. I have my VA do a little extra using this app, but it's a great app, totally affordable too, all right? But um, anyway, that content still gets repurposed to all those platforms. And what happens, I send all my people to my landing page, all right? So. Um, my name is Dad Learns Money. If you want to purchase any of my products, go down in the description. And you'll see a link to all of those. But what happens, um, it helps me um, um, keep my my um, my entire funnel, because this is the back end of my entire sales funnel, all right? The back end of my, uh, it helps me keep it automated real smoothly and gives me a lot of my time back where I can really focus on what's more important in my business. So once they leave my landing page, right? Then they go to my um, my my landing page where they see my product and that's what qualifies them whether or not they'll be a potential good client, all right? And then they're able to get a, a schedule a booking call with me and then they um, get invited to my free Facebook group where I can nurture them, all right? Now, also inside repurpose.io, I have my content automatically posted to nurture and grow my clients in my Facebook groups, all right? So, um, um, I don't have to do any of that work either, all right? So it'll automatically post videos I want so I could take my long form content, like I was saying, and have it go to the Facebook group. So one of the perks, they might see a snippet of my video on TikTok, right? Or on stories or reels and they get the entire scoop and detail then um, either purchase my ebook so they can get access to my on my Facebook group and watch the other video and get all that value on my Facebook group. But Repurpose IO does all of that for me. 
okay? And then once they um once um um they book the session and they're in the Facebook group and they get it all this value, that's when I get on a one-on-one call with them with Zoom. All right, now listen, repurpose.io even takes my content from Zoom. You can repurpose your content from Zoom and you can use that in podcasts, you can use that in tutorials, you can use that in content. I take some of the some of the sessions sometimes and I keep my, my clients private, but I take some of those sessions, okay? And then I'm able to create the little snippets in re, inside repurpose IO because once you um, once it pulls the content from Zoom, all right, and when you wherever you want to repurpose it, all you gotta do is click a box, and, it, it, and the AI will automatically make snippets of the content. When I tell you this guy, this I mean this 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 technology is freaking amazing. All right, so everything is already everything is just automated once I post to TikTok, you guys. Um, everything happens. So say if they're, if they're still deciding whether or not they want to purchase, then of course I have my email autoresponder, which I collect when they purchase my, my ebook, right? And then my ebook also nurtures them also in the back end to their email inbox. And this is already automated within Aweber, okay? So um, when I have that one-on-one session with them, by this time, they've already answered, I've answered a lot of their questions because they've been in my Facebook group. They see the proof that I'm a real person, that I'm legit. They get to know and like me and trust me on a deeper level outside of social media in my community. Right. So when I talk with them, it's only basically a few seconds, um, not a few seconds, but a few minutes to answer some questions or whatever. And then they go ahead and get my high ticket offer, which is our high ticket offer, which is I get on my course. <clears throat> so once they get my course, that qualifies them to go into my premium members group, which is my discord group. And this is where I make sure with my coaching and mentoring, I make sure I get them the, the results they're looking for. So here are a few of my clients right here. This person bought a car. Um, this person went from zero to 500 sales per day or whatever. And then what happens when I help those people, right? They also tell other people about me, whether it be in their content or whether it just be um, through by word of mouth. All right. So this is, that's what I love about repurpose IO. I would have had to do all of this myself outside of the automations I have within my funnel um, with Aweber and ClickFunnels, my content, I would have had to manually do, right? Or I would have been doing a lot of different apps to connect it all, right? But Repurpose.io is a hub for all of this to happen. All I literally have to do now is just post my TikTok videos, right? And then once I do that, all the magic happened for me on automation. So I'm, I'm going to go behind the scenes inside of Repurpose.io that link will be in my bio. Now they give you, I think, a 14-day free trial. Okay. But um look at um look at look at what you're able to do. You can connect um your your TikTok account and create the workflows and publish your videos. And they're all watermark free. So you can send them to whatever platform you want. All right. They make your life so much easier. And, and these are the different ways you can repurpose your TikTok videos. Okay. Now keep in mind you um TikTok is what they call one of the destinate um, on what it, they call the source. So when you're creating your workflow, you have a source and you have a destination. All right. So your your source can be other things too, but you know, everybody mainly uses it for TikTok and then repurposing from TikTok because they're just the leader of social media right now. But look at what you can do. You can go TikTok to YouTube Shorts, TikTok to Reels, TikTok to even Snapchat, LinkedIn, Facebook Reels, Twitter. SoundCloud, and you can turn your content into podcasts, whether it be audio, visual, audio, and, or audio and visual and both. Like I said, you can send it to Google Drive. You can send it to your Dropbox. If you don't use Drive, you can send it to Pinterest and Instagram, all right? And tons of testimonials. Everybody's going crazy over this, you guys. Um, let me get into some of the pricing. All right, so it's really, really affordable. When you sign up, you get two months free if you get the yearly plan, all right? I am on the $25 a month program. All right, so this is what I'm actually using because I have long form content, all right? I eventually upgraded and I went to 25, so that's my bad, forgive me for that. All right, but this is ideal for the long form and short form creators and live streamers, okay? Automatically repurpose your existing content from one YouTube, all this, so you got the Zoom, Extra and Webex, and then Google Drive and Dropbox, all right? So I, I would definitely go for the $25 a month. That's what I'm using, all right? You will be a little bit limited for the $15 a month, but if that's something you just wanna try out in the beginning, that's cool. Now keep in mind, 
Um, you, if you uh, click my link down in the description, all right, there's no extra cost to you, but it's an affiliate link, but you'll get 14 days free. In that 14 days, you got full access and you can do anything in those 14 days and really test it and see how it, to see how it works. And you can even convert your videos into podcasts, like I was saying, and you can c connect five of each type of social media platform. So that's what I did. I, I have um, um, probably like three or four YouTubes, three or four TikToks, and I have them all just automated and getting repurposed to all the other platforms I have multiple profiles with. All right, but if you if you went for the content marketer, it's twenty five dollars a month, but two forty nine for a year, which is still a great deal for all of this stuff that you're getting and all of the automated. What you wanted, I, I can't stress how important it is to have your content in as many different profiles and platforms as possible, so your reach is larger. So if you're struggling on one platform and not moving as fast as you like, what what um, I teach my students and what they, everyone discovers fast, what works. Uh, what may not work as well or as much you have hope on a platform like TikTok, if you put it somewhere like YouTube Shorts or Pinterest, it may do exceptionally well, all right? So that's why you want to have your, your content in many different platforms. Your customers are not just on one platform. They're on, there are all the different ones as well. All right, so I will opt in for the content marketer, pay the $25 a month, all right? or the 249 for a year and you're set to next year okay and that's a good safe thing to start off with um this right here is really for like agencies so those are the big boys that have a company have lots of clients so you shouldn't really need that i think the content marketer um plan would be perfect for you definitely um starting off but if you want to just test it out for the lesser price you want to go for it show you like these are a lot of my uh tiktok and pictures and instagrams in here and even snapchat i'm not real big on snapchat right now but i am going to get into it but this is the back end office right here so say if you just wanted to get started right the first thing you're going to want to do is click workflow this is after you create your account and everything okay so after you create your account the first thing you want to do is click workflow but before I get into that, you guys, the team here is absolutely um, incredible. You're going to have a, a, a chat box and these people actually respond in a timely manner. Um, it, uh, uh, when I first started, I was struggling a little bit, um, but they were totally um, responsive to my questions and they helped me live and in real time. All right. So that's a good thing. Outside of that, they got tons of tutorials right here. I'm going to just click this right fast. So this uh this right here um when the video is over I know you guys can't hear it but when the video is over he's just kind of telling you what's gonna happen um and how to use it but when he stops talking then you have all these options based on your needs or what you might need to do um working inside the the software all right and then you can even download these videos and stuff man <laughs> like like they just thought of everything all right so I close that out but there's tons of videos. And then they actually have an onboarding video to get you started. And then they actually have a mini course. Okay, so if you click the mini course right here, it's gonna take you to um, this right here where they have all this information broken down for you, man. So if you're just getting started with content creation or um, uh, you wanna learn more, not only just how to use this platform, but how to use put out content um, as a whole, um, they really, really uh, over delivered on that part. And then they have a video cheat sheet, um, onboarding video, and then of course the help center and um, contact support. So I just want to throw that out there. Nothing is, nothing is worse than um, you really like something, but you just don't know how to use it and they don't have the help. All right, that's one of the things I would get frustrated about with Facebook. There's no one you can talk to if you get stuck. All right, but um, when you first get when you first get on the uh, platform or, or the software and you create your account, the first thing you want to do, um, you want to add a connection. OK, so adding your these are all my connections. So I have this TikTok and I have this top TikTok, this Pinterest, this Snapchat. This, of course, is my Google Drive. Another TikTok, another Pinterest profile I have. These are all my Facebook and Instagram profiles. All right. That's really where I started first and growing there. All right, but you're going to first want to create a connection. And it's very, very simple. Um, uh, all you would do is just over to the right, just click Add Connection. And then you're going to want to pick whatever connection 
um, that you want to add first, okay? So this can be an audio podcast, video podcast, YouTube, Drive, Dropbox, Facebook, Zoom, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, all of these right here, including Instagram, WordPress, WebEx, TikTok, Pinterest, and Snapchat. And they're always adding on more stuff. Um, they're always growing and adding on some new stuff, especially with the new stuff that's popping out. All right. But once you pick one of those things, we just say, for example, you wanted to um, connect uh, your YouTube. All right. So when you click connect your YouTube channel, it's gonna ask you whatever name. So I have more than one YouTube channel. So I don't wanna get confused. I wanna know which one it's for so I can give that YouTube channel a name. All right, so we we'll just say testing YouTube. And then you wanna give it a permission, all right? Um, this is read only or advanced or whatever, but just standard is to default. Don't let that confuse you. That's all you need to do. Um, and that's what I'm using. And then you would click connect. And when you click connect, um, it's gonna take you to whatever uh, profile that you wanna connect, okay? So say, for example, um, I wanted to connect my one, two, three, team cotton. And I would just go through that process right there. So here's my YouTube right here. And it's gonna ask for the permissions, what I wanna give access to. And then I would just click allow and then boom. All right, so you see I named it testing YouTube and it is quickly done, you guys. All right, that's all I would have to have to do. So I have my connection. So once you have your connection, um, you will have to, um, um, so this is this is a, so, uh, a, a destination connection. All right, so see, there's different types of connections on here. So all your, um, um, some of them can't be uh, a source, which means you can't pull content from it. You only can send content to it. All right. So my my um, all of these right here can all be destinations, means I can repurpose content to this platform, but all of them can't be a source. All right. So um all of these right here can be a source or a destination, but I just wanted you to know the difference, okay? So far, everything so far can be a source and destination, but you might be on a platform, say for example, um, one thing one of them is missing is Snapchat, okay? So right now you can't take your content from Snapchat and repurpose it. I only can take uh, content from one of these sources that I created, that I created in Connections, and send it to Snapchat as a destination. So you'll see when I click right here, now Snapchat is right there. All right, so you're, that'll be the difference. Your source is where your content is coming from. Your destination is where your content is going to. But some platforms don't allow the content to be pulled from it. I don't really know why Snapchat is one of those, but you can repurpose content to Snapchat. All right, but once you have all your connections set up, it's gonna automatically tell you what's a source and a destination. You won't have to figure that out. Once you connect the uh, platform, it's gonna automatically get categorized, all right? But once you have all your um, connections set up, then you're gonna to wanna to go to workflows, all right? So once you have, once you have, uh, once you come to the workflow page, the same process, right? You'll see all your connections, um, all your current workflows, but um, if you're just starting out, this would be empty, okay? So what you would do is just click create workflow. All right, and same thing, you could name this workflow. You can name it, um, I'm just gonna name it testing workflow. All right, and then you're gonna click next. And then, like I said, you gotta choose your source. All right, so my source, we, we could just say uh, YouTube. So if I have more than one YouTube, um, I gotta pick which one I want. All right, so I'm just gonna say testing YouTube, all right? And then if you have playlists on that YouTube, now this won't be on all, it won't ask you this on all of that, it just knows that YouTube has playlists. So if you have a play playlist on this uh, channel, it's gonna ask you. So you can see on this uh, family YouTube account we have, we have all these uh, different playlists. And then of course you could just do your shorts playlist right there, so I just pick that and we, you click next. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is choose the action. So you can convert the video to audio. That's like what I said, if you wanna make it go to like a podcast or something like that, but 
Um, I don't want to do that. I just want to upload the video. And then you can do snippets, like I said, which is real cool. And it's going to automatically do that for you. You don't have to do it yourself. But I just want to keep the full video. So if I already know all those videos are already the right um, length of time for YouTube shorts, I'm just going to leave it full video. You click next. All right. And then you're going to choose your destination. So YouTube was our source. So where do you want to send it? And we could say, hey, I want to send it to... Um, uh, the other the other testing YouTube, all right? Um, it's basically pulling and sending it to the same YouTube, but you can pick whatever platform you want, all right? Um, but let's just say we'll do Snapchat, all right? Or you can do um, Facebook, all right? But whatever you pick, um, let's say if you do, do Facebook, it's going to ask you here, like it would ask for YouTube, what playlist do you want to do your page or your group? All right, and you would just pick one of those. All right, so same thing there, you would just pick it. And then once you pick it, you're gonna click done. I'm not gonna click done because it's gonna create that workflow and it's gonna just pop up in your workflow um, like, if, like everything else. So once you have your workflow, all right, so if you can see right here, all right, so, um, it can see all of the content from my source. So right now on this, this TikTok channel, I have 411 videos, okay? I have 411 videos, you can already see that. So my destination would be that all content folder. So once you have the workflow, you can set it to manual or auto. So right now this is on auto, but you can turn it to, um, or right now this is on manual, but when you click it on to auto, that means Anytime something hits TikTok, it's going to automatically send it to Google Drive, my Google Drive all, uh, all content folder, or right here. Anytime I drop something on TikTok, it's going to automatically go to YouTube. Anytime I drop something on TikTok, it's going to automatically go to Pinterest because I have it on auto. All right, so if you don't want it to auto publish, you can just leave that off. Come into um, Pinterest, I mean, come into repurpose.io and manually do it where you want it to go and how you want it to be delivered, all right? But um, let's say like, so right now I have this one on on, on auto, but what you can do, you can um, set your settings for it, all right? So you can um, resize it if you want it for the different platforms. So I can do vertical IGT, IGTV, IG storage, Facebook, so it, um, um, it can be the right format for those particular platforms. But in this case, this is TikTok to YouTube, so it wouldn't be needed, all right? But you can also create templates, all right? You can create your own templates and upload it. Say if you got like a thumbnail or something like that or some graphics or you want to have your logo or, or some stuff be above you and uh, below you in, in your, in your um, profile, um, or in your video, you could do that as well. You can design those in Canva and upload them to your My Templates folder. And they also have their own predefined templates. All right, so look, uh, when you click that, you can already have it set up for you and you just tweak it right here inside the platform. It's like they're really, really game changing. So they got vertical, horizontal, zoom, all of this stuff, guys. And, and this is another thing that always adding more stuff to, man, every time I check it, I do it. All right, so this is some of this is some of my stuff where I use for like Pinterest and stuff and you and IG. So these are my own templates that I've created. But I just wanted to show you how you can use it, and it's going to automatically place those templates in your video for you. All right, you won't have to do it yourself on each video because this is a setting. So if you want this same thing in all of your videos, it's going to automatically do it. So you just do it this one time, you guys. It is a great software. So just moving on, you can have it a different file. And then you can outro it as a different file. You can have the subtitles burnt into the video, all right, for those platforms. So that's one of the things I also do on YouTube. Um, so people can um, still watch the content without hearing it, all right? You can have an audit, edit, um, have it fade out at the end, all right? But um, um, this, is a, this is the most important thing. So say when you just created your account, right? It's gonna pull all your content. Right, but it's not gonna auto publish all of your content in the in, um, previously, right? Um, because then what would happen, all of your content that you've already recorded would just 
hit all of the other platforms all at once. So say if you, I got 411 videos on TikTok, right? And I have them repurposed all at the same time to YouTube, it's gonna send all 411 videos um, to that, that platform. So it doesn't do that, okay? So if you wanna auto publish it, you set it to, hey, all of my content on this date and newer. All right, so for what it's basically saying from this point on, everything I post on TikTok, I want it to automatically be repurposed to YouTube. Now, if you want to do that and have all of your content, let's say you don't have 411, you just have eight videos and you just wanna go ahead and publish them all to your YouTube uh, channel. You can do that. What you would just click is all content and then it's gonna automatically do that when you press save, all right? So I don't do that. There's another better way you can do that as well, especially if you don't have a lot of videos, all right? Um, and I'll show you that in a second, okay? Now also what you can do, you can exclude videos that have certain hashtags. So if you know that you, um, when, when you're creating your content, you know that you're also gonna use this content um, for YouTube, right? You can put a hashtag in there so it'll tell repurpose.io that you want only these type of videos with this hashtags to get repurposed to youtube so every video that you post on tiktok you have control um just by placing a hashtag in those videos on tiktok what you want repurpose.io to do all right that is freaking amazing all right so say if i got a three minute video and i have it set to shorts I could put something as far as like, like I could put dad learns money long, right? That's my hashtag, dad learns money long in that piece of content. So what, it, and, and it'll tell um, repurpose.io when I drop that video, don't pull this video, all right? Because it has that hashtag and that's, I don't want this video to go to YouTube, all right? Or you can do it of the opposite. You could put the hashtag and say only important videos that contain this uh, hashtag so I could put dad learns more money short all right and then what it's going to do all the videos that only all the videos that have that hashtag is going to take it and pull it and repurpose it purpose it to YouTube all right say if you don't even want the hashtags in your in your um um that's in TikTok over to YouTube say for example you got TikTok content growth or whatever something like that or TikTok tips and tricks and you don't want those hashtags over on YouTube it'll remove those hashtags all for, for you automatically and just post it without the hashtags and then what you can do you can add your own hashtags right here that you want all of your videos to have going to YouTube so you can put use hashtags use hashtags as YouTube hashtags and tell them what hashtag that you want in all of your YouTube videos all right you can also put your own description and it'll be the same description for all that content, all right? And you can also put your call, call to action and your hashtags here as well, or you can put your description here, right here as well. Um, your language, privacy, all this stuff that you have to do each time you upload a video to YouTube is gonna automatically do that. And then it email you if it's successful or not, or it can automatically trim the video. So say the video is two minutes long, and you wanted to trim it to fit in YouTube shorts, it would do that for you. <coughs> and then all you would have to do is click save. All right, so my final thing, let's say um, you just imported all of your new videos, right, from TikTok um, 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 into repurpose.io. So that happens when you make your first connection, all right, and you'll see all of, uh, you'll just see your TikTok profile, and what happens is, it tells you how many videos um, you have for that platform, all right? So what you can do, if you don't want to deliver 411 videos all at once, right? What you can do <coughs> is click view content. So of course you see, I have a lot of them already published that's been going. So I'm gonna jump to the end and see if I can find some videos um, that haven't been published. So great, all right, so when you, um. When you first um, connect your TikTok account, you're gonna see all your videos here um, and you don't wanna publish them all at the same time to where, to the destination like YouTube. All you would have to do, you can manually um, schedule the ones you wanna use. So you would just click publish and it's not gonna publish the video. It's gonna open up a, another window, all right? And 
You could put uh, the title. It's going to automatically pull the title from that TikTok video so you can keep it or, or create your, a new one. All right, but every all the information that was in that original video is going to automatically pull and um and um put into this uh um this uh this public setting right here and you can add hashtags or leave it you can change the default language or whatever but what you can do um and also you can auto trim it for youtube if it's super long but what you can do all you have to do is click schedule and you're going to see all my schedules pop up in just a second so say um, I want to publish this video tomorrow or whatever, you would click that. All you would have to do is put in the date, um, the date when you want to publish and it's already going to be there when you click it and then what time you want and click schedule content and you're done. All right, so you can do that for each video just like that. And it's a game changer. So you can set your whole week. So if you got 411 videos, you can do this for the rest of the month, the rest of the week. The rest of the year depending on how many videos you have and um keep it moving and really be able to focus on all the things you want to do in your business like i said i love this software um it is a game changer for me if you want to um if you want to learn more about it inside my facebook group which will be in the description you can join my community it's totally free I give tips like this to all my students to make sure they can maximize their time and um, kickstart and boost their success. And we use AI stuff like this. And I teach them as a lot of the stuff is either affordable or free. All right. So if you want to learn more of that and join our free community, um, I encourage you to go to the uh, description of the video. Click that. And we'll see you on the other side. You'll be like, I hope this video uh, helped. Um, tell me in the comments if you want more content like this and see what I'm using. I'll be glad to make more content like this, you guys. Stay blessed, and I'll see you on the other side of success.